Hi, I'm Adriana Baranek, CEO of Miadria Group, and uh, here with me is Mala Baranek, our CTO. Hi. Uh, so today, uh, on our useless channel, we will be talking about SAP in the cloud use cases. Uh, so, uh, in theory, when you say SAP in the cloud, it sounds fantastic. So, uh, what are some of the most common use cases that companies can um, start using SAP in the cloud and what are the ways in which SAP in the cloud can benefit companies? Uh, can you tell us more about that? So, oh, for greenfield installations, uh, that means when companies start with uh, implementing ERP, uh, if they decide to go with SAP, today it only makes sense to do it in cloud. First of all, there is no uh, sizing issue of hardware. Uh, procurement is uh, simpler, uh, cost center allocation things are uh, handled uh, much easier than uh, if on-prem uh, installation is tried. And it is possible to start with uh, a proper uh, capacity for development, uh, then <coughs> it, it can be uh, uh, improved with uh, testing and uh, uh, production deployment as well. So, uh, since you can use pay-as-you-go model and you can dimension uh, compute, storage, and networking mm -hmm. on as needed basis, it is also uh, not only faster, but mm -hmm. uh, cheaper than uh, trying to deploy that uh, on-prem. Mm -hmm. uh, another benefit is uh, you start with uh, images that are optimized for SAP installation and you get support uh, from your uh, partner and from a public cloud vendor mm -hmm. so um, all of uh, uh, a big uh, public cloud vendors work closely with SAP and they provide not only integration with their own services but they provide uh, um, compute instances that are certified uh, by SAP mm -hmm. uh, to work with uh, a certain SAP a product so it's much uh, faster and easier to start working with SAP mm -hmm. in public cloud than on prem mm -hmm. so th this is one i would say no brainer for greenfield mm -hmm. uh, installations then there might be also a very good uh, use case so m most SAP customers are still not running hana and there is obviously uh, uh, much uh, 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 more complexity mm -hmm. when doing migration from release uh, from older release to uh, SAP HANA. Mm -hmm. So most companies will do it in next uh, a few years, and that is also. Um, a point where uh, migration to uh, using public cloud is one of uh, options. So if you have your SAP in public cloud, then uh, you can integrate with data warehousing, with, with other uh, office productivity tools and uh, 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 business intelligence tools easily and uh, it makes sense to move your data from on-prem to public cloud to free the data and mm -hmm. enable integration with, uh, with uh, 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 tools that are not available mm -hmm. on-prem. Uh, third case might be when you need some uh, additional development, uh, 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 testing and uh, education resources so wh while you have on-prem uh, installation for your production environment it might make sense to do uh, uh, additional uh, deployment in in public cloud so i would say mm -hmm. those are three most common uh, mm -hmm. cases for using SAP in cloud. And also many companies do not have the proper backup and especially disaster recovery 
uh, for their SAP. And uh, uh, if they do not, or if they are not completely satisfied with how their disaster recovery is working when they really need it, public cloud might also be a good choice, I guess. So th that's a different topic, and yes, of course. So uh, the way how you can move existing uh, uh, SAP installation to public cloud is to uh, start using uh, backup and disaster mm -hmm. recovery uh, so that you can recover your uh, SAP in, uh, in public cloud. So th that would be the use case if you just migrate uh, existing on-prem SAP HANA mm -hmm. or uh, uh, all the release uh, uh, SAP to, to public cloud. Yeah, so basically there are many ways in which you can start using SAP in the cloud. And one of the common misconceptions that we encounter when talking to customers is they, uh, they're they used to having their own SUSE expert, they're used to paying uh, lots of money to maintain their own premise and uh, they guess that uh, in the cloud they will just have a virtual machine where they will just have the same old stuff and can you tell us why this is such a wrong attitude and such, wrong, so, such uh, a mis big misconception uh, first of all uh, even uh, on operating system level uh, public cloud vendors will uh, optimize mm -hmm. uh, instances for for SAP so that's uh, something that doesn't have to be done uh, anymore by uh, experts in on-prem mm -hmm. uh, environment. Uh, then th there is also uh, additional benefit of uh, automation tools mm -hmm. and um, as Adriana mentioned uh, backup and disaster recovery is much easier when you are already in public cloud since public cloud vendors have many uh, 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 capabilities in that uh, area you, you have different zone in the same geographical region or you can even have a different uh, geographical regions used for uh, backing up your data and for mm -hmm. uh, disaster recovery which uh, it's so that that is quite complex topic and uh, it requires ex uh, extensive uh, planning lot of experience but if you are following uh, uh, scenarios advised by uh, public cloud vendors it is much uh, safer faster and easier to deploy mm -hmm. uh, disaster recovery in public cloud than in on-prem environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, sizing is uh, often the big issue with companies. During the month when they do not have uh, an extensive load in SAP, they might have enough. And then at the end of the month when lots of people access SAP or at some specific time points uh, during the year, then they do not have enough. And with uh, SAP in the cloud, not only you can size up and down as you wish during the month mm -hmm. or during the year, but you can also, for instance, have SAP running only from 8 to 4 p.m. Uh, while your people are actually working if you don't need it outside of the working hours. Yeah, so, so some components can be uh, especially sensitive to uh, capacity, so it is much easier to uh, increase uh, compute power or uh, uh, storage or networking uh, during uh, peak hours or uh, peak periods mm -hmm. like uh, Black Friday or uh, whatever company is trying to to achieve. So th there might be some uh, heavy reporting uh, mm -hmm. end of uh, financial year when uh, actual production might be impacted by uh, running a lot of uh, uh, queries for generating uh, financial reports and stuff like that and th that might slow uh, business processes so in most cases uh, uh, for on-prem installation that that's the fact of life if you are running in public cloud you have elasticity and it is possible to uh, temporarily increase uh, uh, capacity to enable 
uh, this extra uh, heavy reporting uh, end of, of financial year and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you, you are more flexible w of, with uh, 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 regarding uh, capacity mm -hmm. of your SAP installation. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I do not like about those videos is because we can always just scratch the surface of the topic. And this is a, a huge topic that can be and must be discussed with potential clients in great details. So just to mention again, we are running um, from last week uh, on Friday uh, several time appointment slots uh, for all, all the viewers that want to talk to us in more details about their problems. So uh, you will find it in the comments below uh, and in the description of the video, uh, the link to book your appointment. Um, uh, is there anything else that you would like to add about the specific use cases? Uh, about the so well, uh, we have very good experience with uh, SAP on Asia. Uh, it's also supported on AWS and on uh, you know, Google Cloud Platform. Uh, from our experience for Greenfield installation, it is possible to start uh, running SAP instance basically in a matter of few, a few days. And uh, it's a very flexible and fast, uh, fast uh, process compared to uh, procuring on-prem mm -hmm. uh, equipment and licenses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, great. So uh, we will continue with our series SAP in the Cloud ne next week. Uh, for today, thank you so much for listening and thank, thank you, you much for your time. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.